Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So, this is a mountain bike. I've had for about two months now. Put over 100 miles on her. It is a Northrock XC27, made by Giant, made in China, of course. But the frame, all the components put together by Giant, and it's made specifically for Costco. Let's take a look. So, like I said, this is a bike you can pick up at Costco. Again, the Northrock XC27 runs around the 3 to 350 range, which for what you get for a mountain bike, especially in these weird supply chain times, is very nice. Take a look, nice fat tires there, extra cushioning on the trail. And I have been ripping this on mountain bike trails, on flat gravel trails on the road, even though those tires are a little loud on the road but this thing really shines on the dirt trails. Aluminum lightweight frame, again, made by Giant, made in China. I took a lot of the badging off. There's a ton of stickers on here. Putting this together was pretty easy, honestly. It all came fully assembled for the most part. Just add a few things and you are good to go. Came with the two tools you need to put it all together. I did add phone mount, water bottle mount, or water bottle holder, rather. Saddlebag. And it's coming together pretty well. I am missing maybe a small tire inflator to run along with that water bottle holder there. But I do have to keep a couple of tools back here. We good to keep maybe a spare tube as well though. Besides the frame being built by Giant, you have a fork up front here. This is the SR Suntour XCT 27.5 front suspension. It is adjustable, has these clicks up here which honestly are more of a novelty. They don't add too much to the feel, um, but overall pretty firm. You can get them a little firmer by adjusting those or a little bit squishier for gearing down here. Running Shimano Altus, you see right there. Chain right there, very clean, 21 speeds. And for a mountain bike, I've noticed you really got to kind of crank it to make it go, <laughs> which is good. I mean, you want it to be a little bit easier to be able to kind of conquer those dirt trails. But if you really want to get going fast, you're going to have to come up here, really crank her down. There's the one, two, and three right there. One through seven right there. Shifters, again, Shimano Altus, crank set chain, alloy, Wider gear ratio, wider range, nice seat, made by Velo. Brakes are kind of cool, kind of a premium feature to be honest with you. Disc brakes, come around right here, made by Tektro, mechanical disc brakes, good, reliable, easy to stop. I like them so far. Could need a little bit of tuning out of the box, they kind of rub a little bit on the front, but that seems to be working its way out. Nice, fat, Maxxis mountain bike tires. They are 29.85 centimeters by 5.58 centimeters or 27.5 by 2.2 inches. Nice and almost light on the knobby side. Kind of see it's pretty shallow, but hold up well. Take the roots, take the rocks pretty well. Pedals, steel, double reflectors, easy grip on these, not lockable no special shoes or anything like that. I did notice that if you crank this all the way up and all the way down here, you actually lose this chain if you go too quick. There's no guard to keep this chain from falling off. Had it happen about three times now. So if you're gonna crank it up here, you wanna make sure that you're probably about mid-range back here, like three or four. So something to note there. Seat adjustment is pretty easy. You do want to keep it kind of low. Bend your knees a little bit, help a little bit more of that cushioning because there is no rear 
shocks of any type. Definitely a hardtail mountain bike. But for the price point, I mean, you get a ton of good value here. A lot of premium options for the most part for that $300 range. Now, these are the low end of the options for like Shimano and the tires and the seat and all that, but they're all very comfortable. They all work really well. Uh, one thing to know, I think the handlebars could use some work, honestly. I'm not a big fan of these. I could actually maybe even put some angled grips on the side here as well. But for the most part, they've done pretty well. I may end up switching out the handlebars someday. But no issues, gears change just fine, no searching for the most part, just keep them oiled. I use some lithium grease on mine, clean it off, recoat every few rides or so. And here is the actual fact sheet that comes with the bike if you want to know a little bit more about the specifics here, like we mentioned. You can kind of see something to make note of right there, 5 foot 7 to 6 1. It's about the range, this is about a large frame. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of the Northrock XC27 by Costco, made by Giant. I haven't seen too many reviews on this. I picked it up a couple months ago, been riding it a ton weekly. I uh, had to adjust some of maybe some of the nuts and bolts on here, kind of crank them down a little bit to make sure they don't get too loose. So keep an eye out for that. I would definitely suggest lock tightening some of them, especially at the handlebar right here you want to lock tight those you want to make sure you check your brakes are clean of any debris before riding clean your chain grease it regularly that's a key to make sure the relatively lower end shimano gear system continues to work and continues to function especially with mountain bikes you really want to kind of maintain them a little bit no issues with the tires nice and fat and knobby great for cushioning shocks here again you can adjust them i kind of Made them a little firmer. Some of the gravel trails that I ride on a weekly basis, um, as well as some of the dirt trails like you've seen. It does come with a kickstand, by the way. And it is lightweight. Really not too bad at all. So if you have any questions at all, guys, hit them down in the comments below. If you want to find these, head on over to your Costco. They were there back in like August of 2021. And I've seen on the forums, they come maybe twice a year. Uh, they come in big batches of like 50 to 100 bikes per store. So there's plenty of them out there. And this real cool frame with the green by Northrock here. I love it. I mean, I love that lime green color. And again, <laughs> for a mountain bike, a little bit larger frame, set for somewhere about five, six to about 6'1". This is about the range, about 200 pounds or so is kind of the average you're looking for to ride this bike, maybe like 180 to 210 or so. Not a bad deal at all for the 300. So, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, again, hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Like this video, hit that thumbs up, really helps me out. Head over to Instagram, follow me there, like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet, and I'll see you guys in the next review.